after three months. Finally gained some tomatoes. I started these guys from seed, as you know, about two months ago or so. And um, they are in a hydroponic garden setup. They use water only to grow in. And did an update on them. Last time I updated you guys on, they're starting to flower and now they're fruiting. You can see the tomatoes there developing. These are cherry tomatoes and they're growing indoors under the light and water. There are some little problems going on down here, but these are determinate tomatoes. As you know, they die once they fruit. So that's what's happening here. Those start to slow decline over time, but it's okay. We're gonna get, we're gonna get our tomatoes. We got some there. We got, I think we might got one there. This one probably didn't get pollinated. The ones that don't get pollinated fall off. Like those two in the middle fall, are about to fall off. Watch this, ready? They're not ready to fall off. Oh, that one is not. I'm trying to get it. It'll just pop off. Uh, wait. There we go. Well, it didn't come off. You see the ones on the two sides here? These are pollinated and developing a tomato. The ones in the middle didn't and they die. See that one? That's yellow. That one didn't get pollinated. The one to the right did get pollinated. You can see it's the fruit developing there. And that one in the back there too. Developing nicely. You might be saying, wow, these are big plants. Here's my finger for reference, guys. They're pretty small. They're not even a foot tall. They're about probably eight inches or so. Eight, five inches tall. Pretty small tomato plants but they do produce a lot, I heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but they're definitely living up to their name. So we'll see how they do. Next update coming in a few weeks. We also got another offshoot coming here. They'll develop more tomatoes. You can see there, starting to develop flower clusters. We'll see how these tomatoes develop.